Take a look at this right here. This is why state and local officials are warning you not to drive electric vehicles impacted by storm surge and to park it away from your home. And this is what's left of an electric car that ignited as is being towed in Pinellas Park today. Fire crews said it was parked in a lot that was flooded during Hurricane Idalia. 10 Tampa Bay anchor Josh Adoras verifies what makes EVs and salt water such a dangerous combination. These electric vehicles, when they get salt water intrusion, can catch on fire, and those are very difficult fires to put out. That was Governor DeSantis' warning just days ago ahead of Hurricane Adalia, and several local agencies have issued similar warnings here like this one. So let's verify what makes electric vehicles so vulnerable to not just flood water, but salt water. Here are our sources, including FEMA, the U.S. Fire Administration, and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration. According to NHTSA, Residual salt within an EV's lithium ion battery or battery components can form conductive bridges that can lead to short circuit and self heating of the battery, causing a fire. But when a damaged lithium ion battery can ignite, that varies widely. After Hurricane Ian last year, there were at least a dozen reports of EVs that had been submerged or partially submerged in salt water, igniting weeks after the fact. And considering Florida now has the second most registered EVs in the country, it is becoming a growing concern for first responders because these fires, they also burn a lot hotter. Traditional car fires burn around 1500 degrees where an electric vehicle battery fire can burn close to 5000 degrees. With your Verify, I'm Josh Sidor. All right, Josh, that's really good information there. If you see something you'd like us to verify, you can email your questions to us, verify at 10tampabay.com, or you can text us, 727-577-8522.